Not safe for work. What's the best thing that happened to you in truth or dare? I was about 12 at a friend's sleepover. I was dared to go home by a kid who didn't like me too much. I walked the two miles home and as I came to my driveway my older brother had just pulled in. He had three baby raccoons with him because he had hit their mother while delivering pizza. I got to spend the rest of the night with him. Three raccoons and a cheese and pepperoni pizza watching Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm way late, but the first day I met my wife we played a game of truth or dare. She asked me truth, what kind of clothes on a girl do you like? Then the next day she showed up to my house in those clothes. Was sitting outside at a college campus and was dared to yell I love you to the next person I saw. I did and this dude yells it back and keeps walking. We go back and forth getting louder and louder as he walks off. Best reaction ever. So my hair is pretty long. My friends used me as a mop to clean the wet floor. It was a fun idea. Wasn't fun, but remembering it is a haha. The best thing was getting my lap sat on by my crush and a kiss on the cheek from her. Was dared to catch a frisbee in my teeth from across the yard. So, walked outside and across the yard. Girl wound up, threw the frisbee, figure day. This ought to be funny when it bounces off my face. And as a total freaking fluke, actually caught it in my teeth. Truth. What's the most interesting place you've had Shreks? I've never had Shreks not in a bed. Oh do I have a 2001 Grand Am backseat for you. I had a 2001 Grand Am backseat for her. I wasn't even playing and someone dared a girl I like to kiss me. That someone became a very good friend. My two straight, male friends got in their underwear and scissored each other while singing Fancy Living. Here we come from Spongebob. I'm reading all these comments and am I got dare to go home. Um. Wasn't me, but a girl was dare to mirror what I do. So I made her hug a guy I knew liked her. A girl, I didn't have a crush on her, but she was nice. Flashed me, she also let me fondle her boys. I know it's lame considering some of the responses here, but that's what I got. I made my friend's boyfriend make out with a 4 foot tall nutcracker. That's the best I got. Broke the ice with my current fiancé playing it. One of the coolest nights of my life. Today I learned truth or dear is a shrekshul game. Mother frick her will nothing interested ever happen to me. After reading all of this I've decided frick tinder slash meet me I'm going to make a truth or dare app. I was at work, high school job at a department store, and the four of us in my department were playing truth or dare, mostly dumb work stuff like go mix up those shirts. Someone dared the girl who had a rep as being, experienced, who was a couple years older than me, to give me a B job. She told me to take break with her, I played along. We went to her car. She actually blew me in the store parking lot. I got to grab a girl's boo. Under the shirt. I was 16 and it was awesome. I once dared a friend to order me a pizza so that was pretty good. I got to see my friend's sister's booze and watch him lick an electric fence all in the same day. We dared this girl to give a friend of mine a lap dance using the first song that came up when he shuffled his entire song library. Seems pretty normal until she had to give a 3 minute lap dance to cats in the cradle. A guy told me I was beautiful and that he was too shy to always tell me that cause he thought I was way out of his league. I chose truth every time, because I was super boring and had nothing to hide. I got made fun of that weekend. But Monday morning the nasty wannabe popular itch went around spreading everyone's secrets, and the ridiculous dares they did. Everyone except me. Boring for the win. Kissed the girl that would later become my first ever girlfriend, but is now my ex. It was a good two years though. Cute girl pulled her pants down and full on sat on my face for a solid minute. I was a late bloomer in HS. By the time I realized I may be attractive to anyone it was over. Our senior year party for an art magnet school, we played this. A girl I had a fairly solid crush on popular, cheerleader, 
A good friend was asked who she had fantasized about, and I was the answer. Blew my mind. Gave me the guts to ask her out. It was a horribly awkward silly lunch date. Built my confidence a lot heading into college. A silly story, but it was a good one. Made out with, and low key felt up, my older next door neighbor. Had had a crush on her for a while before then, so it's a very fond memory. Got to see a hot girl's tea imprint in the snow. Not too impressive I know, but teenage me had that picture engraved in my head for a while lol. Girl got dared to spin the bottle and give a bee job to whoever it lands on right in front of everybody. The bottle didn't point at me, but I had a nice view right next to the girl it did land on. Apparently, she had experience dining at the Y. I went to an acquaintance's birthday. We spoke maybe 10 times prior. After a while she was down to just her bra and panties. That's when she was dared to seduce me. Well she was kind of awkward so her version of seduction was just to tackle me while we were both near naked. That was a great night and we're celebrating our first year of marriage next weekend. I won $20 by doing a dare in which I ran outside in my underwear when it was sleeting outside. Not much, but a friend of mine earned the nickname Big Don Chris or BDC for short after a game. Crush sat on my lap the rest of the game. My lil soldier had a hard time staying focused. Good times though. Got dared to ignore getting teas rubbed in my face for a minute. A boy can pock a face like a champion. Best minute of my teenage life. I got to motorboat to girls teas. It was in a hotel during a school sport trip. My best friend knew I liked her and did me a solid. I was 16 and my group of friends were sitting in a sauna. Everyone was covered up by a towel, when one of the girls said we should play truth or dare. I got dared to show my dong to one of the girls so we went out to the changing room showers that is attached to the sauna and I showed her my dong and she gave me my first hand job and later that night we had shreks. Ended up together for about 6 years before I found out she had been cheating on me like a lot. Groupers were in these tunnels that we like to hang out in. And our friend was dared to give me a bee job. Which she actually did. Best 10 seconds I ever had down there. Ended up dating on and off for the next 2 years or so. Man when I went to school I saw the guy get to suck a girl's tea in TD. I'm still pissed to this day it wasn't me. I never got to play truth or dare. But I did play duck duck goose. It was not fun sitting there the whole time. Someone dared me to kiss a lady that I happened to have a thing for anyway. It was a very long time before we stopped kissing. Dated her for 3 years. Great lady, always a little sad it didn't work out. I got to watch my middle school friend, it was winter, go down to the yard trip to boxers and run a lap around the yard. Needless to say we were all impressed and hysterically laughing. He did this in the middle of class by the way. Made out with this chick I had a crush on. Turns out she had a boyfriend. He beat the shoot out of me. Shari was dared to spend 10 minutes in a dark room. Nearby den. With the guy of her choice. She chose me. Turned out to be a setup. Her best friend knew that Shari had a crush on me and made this happen. Anyway, it was the hottest, fastest makeout session to date for me. We were both naked above the waist and she had her hand in my zipper. At 10 minutes there was an unwelcome knock on the door. Found out a girl had a crush on me. Unfortunately it was the girl I hate. I played truth or dare in a pub in my hometown. It was pretty normal for me and my friends and their friends to play that there. Because none of us were afraid to do anything except getting naked or something like that. I got a dare to kiss a girl to my right. Decided not to do so even though she was up for that. Later that evening I saw her with her boyfriend. I am relieved that I decided to dodge a bullet there. Shrek's house. I am now a respectable employee at a respectable IT company that would be thoroughly appalled at my past. But when I was at university, there was a house a couple of streets down that was essentially Oggy Central. And it all started with a game of truth or dare. In the 7th or 8th grade, 
I was going back and forth with my friend with a bunch of rescade airs. Flash your bows, show her my dong, make out with each other, dry hump, etc. I eventually just went for it and dared her to blow me and she did it. I remember being so hard that I barely even felt anything, initially. Wish I got asked to play this enough to have one of these stories. My buddy dared me to lick chocolate syrup off his girlfriend's nipples. Hijacking to share my worst. When I was in high school, we played truth or dare Jenga. I was the first to get a dare piece and I did the dare. I had to blow in some guy's ear. Fine. A little embarrassing, but that's what you do. The next time a dare came up, the person refused to do it. Everyone was like okay. The next few people also refused to do their dares. I was like what the freak? One girl said um. Nobody actually does the dares with a withering tone that might as well have said you idiot. Frick those guys. Me and my friend were at a friend house and they dared me to go to her room and bust a nut in her panties while she watched. Well I cannot complain those panties were hella soft. So not best, but a truth or dare story nonetheless. 5th grade. Crush gets dared to kiss me. Crush looks at me and goes. Ew. Gross. He's fat. And that was that. If this is going to be copy and pasted in a BuzzFeed article please include this. Frick you, Larry. My then girlfriend dared our friend to do some Shrek stuff with me. I ended up leaving then girlfriend for that girl. Me and that girl have now been together for 8 years. Married for 3. Have a beautiful daughter and hopefully another on the way soon. Best truth or dare game ever smiley face.